Okay, so I've seen a lot of people online talking about this browser called Zen Browser. Everyone's saying it's the best thing ever. So I'm thinking about trying it out and seeing if it's good enough to make me switch from Brave. So let's open Brave and search up Zen Browser. And what you look at that, cool animations on the website. I like these acrylic tabs here, it looks cool. People have been hyping it up, so let's try it. Productivity at its best, we'll see about that. Uh, okay, the card animations are cool now, looks great. Free and open source, that's what I like to see. Simple yet powerful, private, and always up to date. We'll see how private it is soon. So let's go and download it right now and see if it makes me switch from Brave. Cool animations, okay. Okay, it's downloaded and looks like there's some new things here. Gonna check that out later on. Looks like a new update just rolled out. Uh, B for beta, I guess. Okay, so let's see. We got a clean new tab here. Looks good, already liking it. And if I want to open another new tab, I guess it opens up the search box, almost like Mac OS. I like how the tabs just hide there and everything's in one place. Makes it so minimalistic and clean. Look at that animation. In Brave, the tabs are also kind of like this. Okay, now I guess I can customize the browser from here. It's just the basic stuff. What's in more? Oh, it's the settings page. I think I'll keep most of this on default for now. If I click general, it just closes the tab. I'm going to keep all of this off since I don't really want anyone opening my browser and seeing what I was doing before. Zen is not your default browser. Yeah, I'll think about that later. Let's scroll down a bit. Here's the theme. Light mode. Yeah, no, never trying that again. There's contrast settings here too. I'll just set mine to automatic. Translations, you don't really need that. Performance sections already checked. Let's see how much RAM it's using. And wow, it's actually less than Brave. Like almost 100 megabytes. Well, I do have one tab open in Brave though. Anyways, wait, where's my status bar? Why is it full screened? What? Okay, now I got my status bar working, but why are the edges full now? Well, I'm full screened, it doesn't fix. Okay, let's just view it this way. I also noticed some alphabets have this underline for some reason. Oh, and if you're wondering, this is actually my first time using a Firefox based browser. All right, let's see this. We can change the UI a bit, interesting. Looks like we've been using the first one by default. The second one makes the search bar go on top and the tab shows up here, pretty much like my Brave setup. And the last one, hmm, makes it really skinny. You close the tab by clicking this tiny cross. That's so stupid. Imagine accidentally closing your live interview. I'm gonna use the old one. Wait, why is it so small now? Now it's fixed. Weird. Okay, now we got this thing called Glance. What's this? Looks like it gives a little peek of the website feature. Now the URL options. What's normal? Oh, it just makes it behave like a standard search bar. Well, I like it floating. All right, let's check out tab management. And yeah, boring stuff next. Uh, shortcuts, this might actually be useful. Let's try compact mode. Oh, nice. It hides the tabs and only shows them when you hover. That's actually really cool. If I use this theme, yeah, it kind of gives me that old browser vibe again. I like that. There's also a split view. Might change the shortcut for that later. Switching tabs feels so smooth here, wow. Yeah, I'm definitely using this. I barely even need my mouse now. Can I adjust this though? Oh wait, you actually can. Just gotta open it first, got it. Now what's this focus search? Damn, that animation is clean. All right, that's it for the shortcuts part. Let's move on. For search, DuckDuck goes here by default, but I might switch to Brave Search. Search suggestions, yeah, turn that off. It even has shortcuts for search too, that's nice. Now for privacy, it looks like it's set to standard by default. Hmm, I don't think it has a built-in ad blocker though. Brave comes with one, so I'll probably need an extension here. There's a strict option, let's go with that. And yeah, I'm turning off the password saving thing. I already use a different password manager anyway. Check my last read if you're curious. And yeah, that's it for this one. I think we can install extensions from here. Firefox has its own repository for extensions, I see. 
Let's see if it has the ones I use. And yeah, it actually does almost all of them, but I might need an ad blocker. Let's see, you block origin. Yep, it's here, great. Okay, now the most hyped part, Zen mods. This is why the browser is so popular. Looks like they have a big library of mods here. Let's check them out one by one. Ah, I noticed this thing called essential tabs, these big things you can add. How do I add them? Like this? No, that just pins them. Ha, essentials. Now it's big on top here and it opens when clicked. Cool. But how would I know if these are closed? There's no indicator. Let me see if I can find anything. By the way, see this acrylic effect? I really like this. You can see your wallpaper behind it. it looks so clean, matches all my other acrylic stuff. Anyway, let's look for a mod. Oh, would you look at that? Found one. How do we install it? I guess that's how. Now, if I open, let's say, YouTube and put it in Essentials, oh, look, it has its own color. That's nice. But if I close one of them, it's faded now. Okay, so the browser's cool, but I hate that it doesn't open anything on Hover. Other than that, if we do a final resource test, still a Brave's on top, probably because of all the extensions I have on that. Also, I noticed that whenever I open a new tab, it just shows the search, but not the cool new tab we saw earlier. I guess it's available somewhere. I gotta find it. But man, I like this acrylic vibe. Looks so good. Another thing I hate is that there's no mobile version of this browser, and I think to sync it, I'd need Firefox browser on my phone. Other than that, I really like this browser. Very clean, very cool. I'm gonna keep using it for a while, and I'll let you guys know if I actually switch to it or not. And yeah, videos on this will also come. For that, be sure to subscribe to the channel and drop a comment if you got any tips for this browser. Till then, peace. Oh, and also, Element of Surprise! <laughs>